Hi, I'm Poppy. I'm Aaron. And I'm Sean. And today we're talking about gaming. Am I? I don't know what you're About you two, what is your kind of experience of gaming growing up? I think for me, like, my experience of gaming, or like the most impactful was uh, through high school. It was kind of my first attachment to gaming. And I kind of use it as like a gateway to get away from, you know, just like the stresses of high school and all the kind of things that are going on. And gaming for me, like, kept me away from that and like took me away and like, gave me something to enjoy and look forward to at the end of the day. I think mine, I, I remember being, when I was younger, being massively, massively into games. I think most, most, if not all of my leisure time was sort of dedicated to playing a variety of different games. Most or all? I'd say, yeah, it was, it was a lot of it, a lot <laughs> mm -hmm. of it. Um, so yeah, obviously when you're that age, there's a lot of your friends playing games and you can develop like a kind of community. So it can be like a really positive influence on your life. But when do you think, can you spot the signs of when something that you like is starting to become a habit? Your day-to-day -day, like doings, uh, you could say meals or like spending time with your family or friends or even, you know, skipping days from school, etc. It should be kind of like an indicator. Like, you know, when like you draw like a pie chart of all of your favourite things and like how much you like them. I think if a game starts taking up too much More than of that, food, yeah, so exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like hanging out with your family <laughs> and stuff like mm. that's when you can sort of just not like panic or anything, just maybe take a step back and just be like, hang on a second. Is this yeah. is this fine? Mm. Yeah. And it can have an impact on your mental health as well when you're getting anxious about playing your game, especially when you're not sleeping and that kind of also, thing. Yeah. When you're up to like 3am yeah. playing games. I mean, that's a that's going to throw your sleep pattern out the window. So you're going to end up with like sleep problems. If you've got school in the morning, you're going to be really tired and not be able to concentrate, which in, in effect is just going to make you rubbish at doing schoolwork. So, yeah, like, you know, you need to get your GCSEs. You need to get those, you know, if you haven't had enough sleep, you're not going to be able to concentrate in the class and get your work done. Mm. And especially like if you're staying up late at night as well, you want to, you know, you're going to get hungry and you're going to eat extra food and you're just going to not have a great diet in that sense either. And also you'll just be grumpier. Like yeah. being tired is like, is massive. It makes you, it makes you grumpy, which then in effects, like when you look at the root cause of it, then that is the gaming making, mm. making you grumpy. If that is the thing which is keeping you up. I think it's also like important to like focus on, um, like if you have migraines or headaches that come from like playing computer games too much, just staring at a screen and that just gives you headaches. Um, and looking outside's loads nicer. <laughs> like, yeah, true. <laughs> Um, but you also get like repetitive strain injury from just using the controllers or the keyboard so my, too much. So my mum used to terrify me with took the tales of repetitive strain injury. So I think essentially, like I'm not like the medical expert on it, but I think it's if you, again, using the buttons in joysticks too much, like if you're doing it like excessively, then it can cause real big problems in being able to like actually use your yeah, hands. Yeah. What would be like your top tips or advice for anyone who wants to kind of have more of a balance in their lives? Like for me, like that kind of like development came through college and going to college and having a new like group of friends and hanging out and wanting to do things in real life. Using that as kind of like a um, springboard for say to get away from um, me playing video games too much. And there's always people you can talk to about it, like you can talk to your friends who probably had similar experiences themselves. It's like I mean, I, I've spoken to my mates about, like, especially with like some some games which we feel like they're like taking over our lives, and then we sort of had that moment like, do we need to be playing this? all of the time. Like we had a sort of slight conversation like that about Pokemon Go, when we just found ourselves walking around all of the time. Just at least looking. you're outside. I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. At, least, yeah, at least you're outside. But also, when we were, like, we were then doing that and not other things, and then mm. we were like, should we be spending all our time looking mm. for Pokemon, or should we probably be at a mate's birthday, which we're late for, but we've gone the long <laughs> way because there's a Porygon down Leicester Square. Uh, that's, that's, that's the difference. So if you are worried or you are gaming too much, you can always talk to Childline. Thanks so much for coming in today, guys. That's okay. It's been great. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>